Ідеї, зусилля, успіх. Спонзоровані українською кредитовою спілкою. В п'ятницю 6 листопада на інтернеті відбудеться показ «A Canadian War Story» про участь канадських українців в рядах канадського війська в Другій світовій війні. Сьогодні від режисера Івана Паскевича почуємо про дискримінацію тих часів та про участь українців в повітряних силах канадського війська. Дякую, друзі, добре вважаємо на контакт. Ми маємо пліжію відбудувати містера Джон Паскевич. Uh, the producer director of uh, a Canadian war story uh, to be on uh, screens on Friday November 6th so welcome to the show um, uh, John and uh, could we start with the issue of discrimination which was an issue during the first world war and to what extent was it an issue uh, during the second world war the time uh, that your movie is dedicated to sure uh... At the time of the First World War, there, there was severe discrimination against the Ukrainians who were born in the Austrian-Hungarian Empire. In the First World War, Austria was the enemy. And so because so many of the, the Ukrainians were born in Austria, that they, they were considered enemy aliens. And um, so there was uh, severe discrimination. Many Ukrainians were interned in camps. and. And also, um, Ukrainians uh, who had been citizens for less than 15 years, they had their citizenship revoked. So the, uh, the, the discrimination around the time of World War I was very, very, very strong. In World War II, in the actual war years, there wasn't much discrimination. But previous to that, the Ukrainians were still discriminated against. They 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 were referred to as uh, as unpreferred citizens. They they were second class citizens, and um, but uh, after serving in the war, Ukrainian Canadians, for the first time during their stay in Canada, uh, were respected as quote real Canadians. And uh, is that is that have anything to do with um, their participation in the RCAF in, in any way or or is one a result of the other? How did that work out? Yeah, it wasn't specifically in the RCAF. It, it was all, in all the, uh, the, the armed services. Ukrainians, the Ukrainians had the highest enlistment percentage of any ethnic group outside of the British. And that includes that the uh, Navy, the, the armed forces, uh, well, the, the armed forces, the Navy, Air Force, and and, and Army. And is, how how is all this? Uh, how are you reflecting all this in your movie? Well, uh, I'm talking about it. The movie starts uh, in in the early 1900s. It actually starts with the Ukrainian immigration to to, to Canada. We talk about the uh, the discrimination. In the First World War, we talk a little bit about the, uh, the sacrifices that some Ukrainians made in the First World War who were allowed to uh, serve in the Canadian Army. What was interesting is that Ukrainians who were born in the Austria-Hungarian Empire were discriminated against. They were called enemy aliens. And as I said, they were interned. They lost their, their citizenship. But Ukrainians from the Russian Empire were allowed to serve. And one of the most famous Ukrainians from the Russian Empire, Charles Konowal, he won the Victoria Cross in World War One. So it'd be, it'd be, being a Ukrainian in the First World War uh, confused the authorities, the, 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 the Canadian government. What was a Ukrainian? Mm -hmm. And... Uh... Uh, you mentioned that one of the, the focal points of your movie is the participation of uh, Ukrainians in the uh, Royal Canadian Air Force. And yeah. uh, uh, could you tell us a little bit about that and why you feel that is significant? Well, uh, uh, a lot of Ukrainians participate in the RCAF because the prairies were the training sites for all of the Commonwealth, uh, airmen from 
all across the Commonwealth, Australia, India, New, 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 New Zealand, and, and Britain, that they all came to, 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 to Canada, to Air Force bases in Montreal and, and Saskatchewan, Alberta, where they learned how to fly. And, and uh, a lot of prairie boys, Ukrainian prairie boys on, on the farm would see these airplanes flying over. And they were they were they, 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 they were intrigued by this and and they wanted to be airmen and yeah so I I found that very interesting yeah absolutely interesting I think that that would be that's going to be fun to watch that uh, in your movie now we we talked we talked a little bit about the war we talked about uh, you know the discrimination before uh, but I understand there was a big like a big effort. Uh, to, uh, you know, on the part of Canadian Ukrainians uh, to stop the repatriation uh, that was being forced upon many Ukrainians uh, right after the war. Could you tell us how that is handled in the movie? Yeah, um, we finished the, uh, the, the film at, at, at the end of the war, and then we added an additional chapter on... Uh, on uh, on the displaced persons, the uh, so-called DPs. Uh, several Ukrainian Canadians in the armed forces stayed behind in Europe after the war to, to, to help the, 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 Ukrainian, the, 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 the Ukrainian DPs from be, be being repatriated back into the USSR. Uh, I, I myself, I'm a DEP. I, I, I was born in the DEP camp, so so that had special interest for me. Very, very interesting. So, could, before we uh, before we move on, John, uh, could you tell us uh, when and how uh, people can um, uh, sort of zero in and find uh, find the movie? How it's going to be presented? I, I understand it's online only. Is that correct? Yeah, uh, we're going to be having a virtual screening. Uh, on November 6th uh, in the evening uh, across Canada. So um, they, they can go, the, the pe pe people who are interested can, can go to um, warstory.com, www.warstory.com, and that'll bring up the website, and all the information is on the website there. Uh, so, John, uh, at the end of all of this, thank you very much, and... Uh... Uh, just a little bit of a trailer here for everybody uh, before the commercial break. Looking at the disgusting creatures after they pass through on the CPR on their way west has caused many to marvel that beings bearing human form could have sunk to such a bestial level. Such was the description of Ukrainian immigrants by former Prime Minister of Canada Mackenzie Bull. In 1939, Canada went to war against Nazi Germany. Ukrainian Canadians, despite being regarded as second-class citizens, enlisted in great numbers to fight for Canada and the British Empire. We had boys from every province in Canada. We escorted the convoys like a mother hen. We were on the lookout for German submarines. We would fly at 20,000 feet. The German shells had a 20-second fuse from the time that they were launched. They didn't have to have a direct hit. They would have a killing range of 100 yards. I was a medical assistant in the RCAF. I used to have nightmares that a dead body was under my bed. After a while, these dreams of dead bodies stopped and I got used to it all. The doodlebugs were very frightening. You'd see it flying, and when its red light went off, it went straight down. You had no time to get away. Of my detachment, only four returned. I lost all my closest friends. When I saw them being killed, I wanted to get killed with them too. Such sorrow gripped me. On May 7th, Germany formally surrendered, and May 8th was declared VE Day. Victory in Europe Day. How wonderful Mr. Churchill has come out onto the Ministry of Health balcony. With all our 
long history, we have never seen a greater day than this. London just went crazy. It was just unreal. I'll never forget that ever. There was a stunned silence when we finally realized the fighting was over. Our relief was unbelievable as we acknowledged for the first time that we actually survived the war. We performed in a fashion that was unquestionable, without any doubt. This finally gave Ukrainian Canadians the prerogative of being recognized as real Canadians. Ідеї зусилля успіх спонзоровані українською кредитовою спілкою.